Shit, I know it's been like fucking. Damn, it's been a minute, almost. I'm pretty, almost a year, almost a little, a little over half a year. But um, today it's gonna be like a little short video. Um, didn't really. Well, I actually did have a video that I edited before, but it kind of got deleted. I don't know how. Shit. Uh. Mm hmm. Ooh. Ooh, that's probably good. So, today this video, it's gonna be two things. I don't know how to like split up like the the uh, the YouTube shit. I don't know how to like cut it in uh, parts, but um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna just explain. So the first part is gonna be shapes. So I'm gonna give out this shape pack, hella fucking shapes in it. Like has everything, cubes, cube outlines, fucking pyramids, a heart model, a heartbreak model, the one y'all love, split cubes, all that good stuff. I'm gonna teach you how to use some of them. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to put the shape in here, how to put a picture on it so it connects to like everything, and then how to use it. Pretty much, I'm gonna do like probably like three shapes, three four shapes. Then after that, we're gonna move on to my top ten glitches. As you can see, I got them all right here. They're already ready, but. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you gotta add this, add that, add that. No, nah, I'm gonna just put the preset in, show you guys the settings. You guys can copy the settings, copy the keyframes, do what you gotta do, make your own, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's what I got so far from my little edit. Oh, and over here, I was kind of recording, but I didn't record. But for the glitches, um, these are uh, two frames, so just like, you know. One, two, one, two, one, two. Feel me? Just cut through them. But this is how the edit coming out. That's how the edit coming out. I can't Feel me? But, um, so we're just gonna, actually I'll just redo this whole thing. So get a picture. We're gonna do the shape. So find a picture, uh, pics. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, that fucking photo is insane. Um, what the? F what is this one? What is this one? Did I use this? Oh, I didn't. Okay, I'm tripping. So, how to use it? So, just cut it, pre comp it, make sure the middle one is clicked, and make sure this is checked. Okay, on that bitch. Now for the shapes. These are what you guys are gonna get. I'm gonna give out this whole file. Has everything, arrows, uh, feel me, has everything you fucking need in life. So we'll do a, we're gonna start off with cube split. A lot of people like cube splits. I don't know why, but I mean, sure, fuck it. So it's gonna say this, whatever, whatever. Let's just re pre comp this and change it to just change the name. You can just change the name. I like to re pre comp because I'm weird. So I already have it added, but fuck it. We're going to work into the one. So once you add it, open it down. Some of them, I don't know about all of them. Some of them don't have this photo replace thing. I don't know why. But that's just how it is. But I hope if I find a shape like that, I, I can show you guys how to fix that shit. But so what you want to do is just double click this where it says photo replace. It's gonna pop up this, go to your comp, click uh, split cube. As you can see, I already had one called it because you know, I didn't want to record, but split cube, throw that bitch in there, resize it. And up the top is gonna show everything. Go to the one that says double click on it. You don't gotta double click, just click it once and it brings it to this comp. Okay, okay, and that's pretty much it. Your shape is already like, pretty good to go. Now to put it in your thing so you can edit, there's probably a different way to do it, but the way I've been doing it for like 50 fucking years. Highlight everything. Control C or right. Oh, never mind. You can't even do it like that. That's weird. Fuck it. Control C that bitch. Copy everything. Click anywhere you're editing. So like maybe down here or some shit. And then click the little drop down and it brings you to your main comp again. And then paste it. So Control V. Paste that bitch. Drag it till it fits. And then there. That's how you feel me. So you use it, so you add it. You guys already know how to keyframe and add shit. I don't gotta 
make a whole fucking scene for you guys. Like, no, you guys are good. This one controls the top. Whichever one, feel me? These all control what they say. So, yeah, yeah, now let's do a different shape. Let's do a. Let's do a fucking. Let's do a half split octagon. Why not? Same thing. Remember the name of your shit. Split Q, fuck it. So this one does have it. Cool. Photo replace. Comp. Split cube. Cool. Click up here. And that's it. Master control. You guys are know what master control is. Controls everything. But right control is going to control this right side. Feel me? And then left control is going to control that. So again, highlight all this. Control C. Click back in your comp somewhere. Hit that little drop down. Go back to here. Control V to paste it. And then there, it's added. What you can do is just hide this one so it shows it. But yeah, so now let's do, we'll do the last one. We'll do the, oof, um, where's the heart? Uh, it's called like a heartbreak something. Can y'all help me find it, bro? Here it is, heartbreak. So go back to here, half split heart. Cool. Remember the name of your shit. So open it. Photo replace. Uh, comp. Split. Boom. Go back up to here. Or oh, actually this one. Or oh, whichever fucking one. Where you at, bitch? Is it this one? Really? No, I don't know. There it is. Like fucking three of them. That's weird. But yeah. So that's the heartbreak one. Pretty cool. So, left control, this one's that one. But if you want the heart to like open, uh, it has the anchors for you. So, the bottom anchors are the ones that are going to control the heart break itself. So, like, feel me? So, that one. You could do more. At, like, you could unhook it from the master. See how it's hooked right here from to the master? You could unhook that. Make a new null. Make sure the anchor point is dropped at the bottom. Then you can add it so you can like do more keyframes with it, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah. So uh you already gotta know copy, paste, you guys don't know what to do. But say if your shape doesn't have photo replace, okay? Say if it doesn't. So I have this thing where I could add it. I have this cube thing, right? This like script, I guess. So when I add it. No, you guys are not getting this, okay? Nobody getting this. My granddad knows that I'm key. Nobody getting it. So usually if it's like, uh, it's already going to have the pictures and stuff, but let's say like it doesn't, right? Let's, let's, just, let's just say it doesn't. Let's just say it doesn't. Hopefully it works on shit like this. Um, You could, so watch. Where's that compass? split? This one. So if you want, you could click that, right? Highlight all of these, hold all, drag and drop. What that did was, was just replace the cube with the new picture. So now it's this picture. You feel me? So if stuff doesn't have photo replace, I'll just tell you guys how to do it again. So where's the other one? So this one. So you want to highlight all these. Highlight. Make sure the one you want is clicked in your comp. And make sure you you have your shit pre comped. If you don't, the picture is gonna come out weird and it's not gonna like fit the fucking cube. So click, hold Alt, drag, drop. Now replaces it. That's how you do it from like a different type of I guess way. But yeah, that's how you fucking add the shapes. So now, let's drop that. Boom. Uh, there we go. Now. So work on the glitches. So one, two, cut, one, two, cut, one, two, cut, doing three frames. So me personally, I like to add them on adjustment layers just cause I don't like to add um, RS and B on my glitches cause it looks fucking disgusting. So let's go through the first glitch. Cool, it just disappeared, cool, cool. Right here, 
So first, gonna start off with acid glitch. Acid glitch, pretty cool. One of my favorites. You guys could copy, like I said, just copy the settings. Slow the video down. Do what you gotta do to get all this shit. Just open everything up for y'all real quick. I'm pretty sure everything by default, but go through, copy, copy, copy. So there's that one. Now let's move on to another one. Let's go Glint. I actually like Glint. Glint, like probably one of the best things to use in a glitch style. I ain't gonna lie. Here's this one. You could also add Deep Glow to this one. Or you could add anything, to be honest, that fits what you're trying to do. Makes it like so much better. I fought with it. I fought with it. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Cool. That shit at, bro. Another glint one. Come on. Whoa. It depends on the picture. So whatever picture you're using is going to look crazy. But um, these are how these look combined. Feel me? Feel me? You can obviously like mix and match them. Oh, wait. Those are the settings. My bad. Settings for that one. Settings. Settings. That's how it look. That's how it look. Not bad. Okay. Now let's move on to the next three. So we're going to do three, three, three. Or actually, three, 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 one. Yeah, because I got ten. Three, 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 one, one, one. All right. Shut up, bitch. So, next, glinty number three. I've tried this one before. It doesn't look like it has glint. It depends on the picture again. But obviously, just go right here where it says threshold. Just drop that bitch. And this one does have a keyframe. So does the transform. So, hit M and U on my keyboard. Here's how they start off. And then here's how this one ends in zero for that. And then this one just ends in 180. So now I'm going to go to the second thing. Just take that off. Add glowy glint. I actually use this one in my recent edit. It's just fire. I fucking love this one. It's just like, I don't know. Something about it. It's cool. Here we go. So now let's go to the third one. My crazy lightning one. This one's fucking, yeah. Has a keyframe. I'll show you that. But this one's cool. Everything's default. That has keyframe. So MU keyboard. Here's how they start off. Turb is like that. Unifractal starts at 100. But the invert starts at 0. Ends at, let me copy that. Here's how they look together. Obviously, you know, mix and match to your liking. Do what you gotta do. Uh, I know it's a quick video. I'm just trying to get straight to the point. I'm not trying to just fucking, oh, you guys are that. Oh. Like, no, bro. Like, I'm just giving you all this shit and dip. Like, I don't know. I'm not fucking PewDiePie in this bitch, bro. Next is my opium glitch. I fuck with this one a lot. I abuse this one. I ain't gonna lie. So, exposure. You can find any, um, there's an expression on it. Just look up expressions for exposure to make it flicker and you'll find one. Do what you want. Do what you like. Uh, the keyframe for the turb is like that. So now let's move on to the second one. Ow, my leg. Love this one. Promise you I love it. It's trippy. So this one's going to be kind of weird. I have curves on it. So I'm just going to go through here real quick. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Maybe open up these. Okay, so for curves, you could just fuck with the curves. It changes the color of everything. So if I were to put this like that, see, changes everything. And then you can like make it glow more. Yeah, I saw some weird shit. Go back to the green, feel me, feel me. But yeah, you can go crazy with it. And then you can also add like more stuff on top of that. Do what you gotta do. And then let's go right here. For this one, I love this one. This one is like a, how do I explain it? More of like a, fuck, I, I kind of want to see like, if you make those like, like video type of edits, just video like on some velocity type shit and add this on top of it and make it look trippy. I don't know, I just feel like that's how crazy it'll be. So here's this keyframe, army settings for that. Slow it down, do what you gotta do, I don't know. And then here's how they look all together. 
It's actually a crazy good combo. So then now we're just going to add the last one, which will be my VHS glitch. This one is cool on pictures. It's cool. You can obviously change the colors, do what you got to do, change whatever to your own liking, your settings, again, curves. I know crazy change that, make it fade black. Put that down, add that up. You feel me, you feel me? Just work, work with it, work. Here's all that. So this actually goes crazy on text, but you have to edit your text a certain way. You have to add a text. I think you have to add drop shadow and deep glow and then add this on top of that. So like you pre-comp and edit. And then here's how they look all together. I feel like this one adds more movement. I don't know why. But yeah, that's pretty much um that's pretty much it. Just a video straight to the fucking point. Like I'm not gonna bore y'all. Just here to give out fucking presets and that's it. But yeah, just copy all that shit. Um the shapes will be in the what 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 do y'all for uh the link down below the the link in the the description that shit I have a mega link down there have uh, shapes and shit oh couldn't even hear me it'll have the shapes and stuff but yeah, yeah, yeah it'll be all it'll be all cool it'll be all cool so uh, you know <clears throat> I'm not a fucking YouTuber I don't know I just disappear for like ten years and come back with some crazy shit but um. Yeah, hope y'all enjoy, feel me, enjoy the shakes, enjoy the shapes, and uh, I don't know, I'll see what I post next, yeah, alright, bye.